Okay, so 10 years ago, I rode from Sydney to London on an Australian postal bike, 23,000 miles on a 105cc machine, which I bought from 110 Motorcycles in Caboolture. And so now, 10 years ago, back at 110 Motorcycles for Garbage Run Australia. So there's going to be nine of us. Uh, I'm guiding uh, nine riders, eight riders, um, across the Australian outback from east to west. So effectively, Brisbane to Perth. Stretch it through the out heart of the outback, um, so the dirt road tracks, Stuart Highway, the Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, and these are the posties uh, that I, I guess I commissioned Joe to, to buy and kit out for me. So we've got eight bikes out at the minute, and then uh, Jim, the mechanic's just working on the ninth. Uh, just talk you through the basics. So there's a shot, Jim. So yeah, we've got a stock postie, 105cc, four speed semi-auto box. Um, the changes that we've had done, so I think it's a six, maybe a five or six litre uh, auxiliary tank put on there, just to give it extra range. Stock seat, a stock tank even is just under there. Uh, new tyres on them, just some dirt friendly tyres. Uh, the Aussie post bag, uh, mail bags, just to give us some storage space. Obligatory milk crate. Uh, we've got some a cool cover mesh to go over the seat as well, just to make it more comfortable. Uh, all the bikes have been given names by Joe and uh, the guys here. So we've got Susie, Chloe, Heidi. Who's it? What's that one? I don't think this one's got a name. Is this one that, Bella? Bella. What we got? Julie, <laughs> Holly, Lucy. Riding Lucy and um, Lola. Damn bandido! <laughs> okay, so we we're morning and leaving. We're just getting set up. Uh, people are just putting last minute things in. Uh, Thomas has just turned up in his IAs. He's yep. going to be our support van. Uh, and I'll just show you. Uh, he's got a load of spares. So we've got. A 40 litres of oil, 10 tyres, uh, boxes of bits and engine parts and a bit of everything, aren't we Joe? So that's going to go in there somewhere. So Thomas is going to sort of satellite us a little bit and um, just keep us safe. If anybody's got an injury or a big mechanical breakdown, we'll get a bike in there somehow. <laughs> We're all good to go. Somebody thinks they're going to keep up on a 950. No chance. <laughs> but we're about good to go. Thomas, you alright, mate? Yeah, I'm just going to repipe a little bit. Make it easier. Jace, how are you feeling? Sorry? How are you feeling? Feeling fine, thank you. How are you feeling? feeling? I'm feeling fine. Good. Yeah, everybody's fine. It's Is everyone fine. fine? The day's fine. The weather's fine. It's fine. Dawn, are you fine? Uh, yes. Are you feeling fine? Yes, definitely. Tell us about your 5k run. <laughs> Please don't mention the 5k run. I'm too, too late. Embarrassed to discuss my uh, personal best. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it, we're about good to go. Cool.
kind of like a bit like Scotland, just the trees are different, things like that, you know. It's uh, less sheep here as well. You see, Phil, less sheep here than. Mm. Oh, that finger over. Yeah, it's like graphing. So first night cooking, uh, we're on a campsite, free, well, free camp spot by the side of the main road. So we've got trucks for company, which are probably going to be going all night long. Uh, we've, got a, we've got the van going. We've got a local who's brought us some special vegetables over, some native vegetables. Um, and we've got a dinner feast of bacon and leftover sausage, mated with a pasta, a mushroom and pepper. Uh, uh, bolognese concoction as the pasta is in there uh, so so that's it and then these weird vegetables which we can't remember what they're called but the gentleman silver over fish the, silverfish that gentleman there brought them so um, that's it we are uh, dining in style um, it's been a good day we've done about 140 miles uh, so a little bit less than we, we thought um, but we had a, a little bit of an incident a crash Needed a new brake lever fix putting on, and then we had a lot of steep hills, beautiful scenery, twisty uh, roads, strong, like long first gear climbs. Um, then we had a, I think we had another little mechanical gremlin, so we had to try and remedy that. Uh, so we stopped short of where we were aiming for and made camp in daylight because it gets dark about 5, five th well 5.30. So we made camp early, gonna get up early, crack a dawn tomorrow morning, and, um, and then, um, sort of make up ground by getting up early, been on the road but sort of by five o'clock and uh, doing it that way. So that's it, out back, live in. We're about, I don't know, 300 miles from the coast or so, three hours from Brisbane. We've just been to the local IGA, the supermarket, and uh, the lady thought we were riding cycles to Perth and then thought that we were Australians from Brisbane. So I don't think they get out that much around here. Although it's lovely, really nice little town. Inglewood, I think we're in. So that's it, we're gonna, I mean, pasta's boiling, a little bit watery. Well, that's a <laughs> that's okay. It'll taste all right. They didn't pay for a chef to come along with them. So there we go. Over and out. Take it easy. Okay, so it's uh, five fifteen in the morning. We were awake. Thomas, how did you sleep? Some. So. <laughs> <laughs> See, Thomas does have a bed and everything. Ah, uh, what a luxury. A boat. Five star just... hotel. <laughs> uh, so we're just making some tea. Uh, uh, the bikes, uh, bikes were assembled for lockage last night, and then everyone's up and about. So five o'clock. Um, I can't even think. Five fifteen now. Going to be on the road by at least six thirty. Sunrise means that we're going to get some good distance covered before we hit breakfast mm. time at about eight thirty. The, the, na the name of the town: Gundwindi. 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 For breakfast, yeah. about 8:30. So uh, we we're about we we're about 190 kilometres behind a a, a rough, our rough schedule. So we'll catch that up this morning, and then hopefully by tonight we'll be sort of roughly back on schedule. Somewhere near Berg. Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> about 200 miles short of Berg, <laughs> but we're doing okay. Right. Cheers. Okay, so I met a man on the way to the toilet. He told me there's a lot of gila galars in these trees. So galars are like parrots. Uh, with pink and white bellies, so they're all chirp, chirp, chirping. You hear that? Oh wow! Look at that!
So we're, we're in a sort of rural town, Queensland. One street town, I guess. Inglewood, that's where we are, Inglewood. So we came over the bridge last night, camped just down there by the bridge. And that's Inglewood. And that is west where the sun, the sun's gonna rise, rise behind me and shine on our backs as we head west. The adventure continues. Garbage Run Australia. Please donate to our, uh, our charity, Royal uh, Flying Doctor Services, who are gonna save us if we are stricken in the outback. I'll put a link up somewhere, but yeah, we're just trying to raise a few dollars for that as we go across, so. Wow, meanwhile, the bird show continues. How crazy is that? Cool. And there's Jason. Jason hasn't slept a wink. <laughs> Bless him. Over and out. Bye. The garbage run pit stop. How far we gotta go? Two kilometers. Oh, that's good. I can wait. I can wait. Yeah, not far. Literally just down there. Watch out these bloody kangaroos. Did you see the Just in a uh, place I forgot the name of again. Filling the bikes. Fill them on one uh, one pump, pay at the end. We've got a kitty going. Makes it life easier. Okay, so we're just in Burke, uh, day five. We're having a rest day just to get organized. We've got the team, <laughs> crack team of oil changers. What he did say was some, Bur <laughs> some Burke is changing the oil. That's what he actually Burke. said. Two Burkes are changing the oil. And um, got the Burke. flies are out in Burke. So we uh, six or 700 miles into the trip. And this is a point really where we jump off into the outback. So big distances now, dirt roads. This is kind of the most challenging stretch, which is why we've taken a day to deep breath. Uh, stock the van up with supplies, pasta, rice, tins and things like that. Also we're just changing the oil on all the bikes. And the flies have arrived. And the flies well. are arrived, but we just um, got a pit stop going. Every bike's getting a new uh, litre of oil and then we're just going through each bike, checking ten chain tensioners, tyre pressures, nuts and bolts, just to make sure the bikes are ready for like the roughest stretch ahead. Um, but so, so far, so good really, two bikes down. And um, got the sun's come out. It's got hot. It's not. It's not roasting hot, is it? No, it's kind of. It's, it's perfect. It's mid twenties. I would have said. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. And at night, it's. I think it was seven degrees last night. Seven or eight degrees. So it's not unbearable in any direction, either high or low. It might change a bit as we go west. But looking at the map, we're about a, a, a fifth into the trip, which is uh, which we're on schedule for and everything. So. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> how do you feel? Mentally. How do you feel about that, Chris? A fifth into the trip. Well, physically or mentally? I think mentally, I'm part way. I'm halfway, but physically, I'm not really sure. Yeah, we got to we'll toughen him up. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm losing weight. That's what counts. Yeah, you, <laughs> down a belt size. I'm down a belt size. Down a belt size. Wait till it's his cooking night. So next we're time you see Chris on film, size. he'll just be like like a skinny anorexic boy. Yeah, real. Have a new man back. Yeah. Whether it's me or not, remains to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> but we're all good. Everyone's all right, alive and well in Burke. Some have just gone to the camping store to get some bits and bobs. And uh, then we're going to chill out, have a barbecue on site tonight because there's barbecue facilities. So we're going to get some uh, meat and things and, and then crack on. We've got uh, a crack team of assistants as well. Sandy, who's a local road inspector for the area for Burke. So he's just come down. He's going to ride with us a day or so to, uh, well, to uh, however long he feels like it really. Knows the roads really well, knows the conditions. Then we've got Paul who's come down from Queensland. He's done coast to coast on a postie a few times, so he's gonna uh, just, you know, help out if need be. Because um, it's a bit of unknown. We don't know what the conditions are gonna be like, whether it's deep sand or condensed sand because of the rain, whether there's gonna be ruts or corrugations. So uh, we, uh, we v venture forth into the unknown. How do you feel about that, Don? Oh, it's a challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> cool, over and out.
he didn't give us any love, did he? He was probably thinking, you dickheads. Probably in his workplace, that's why. Mm. Okay, uh, we are in Wanaring, uh, which is uh, 200 kilometers west of Burke. It's been a long day. We had uh, 80 kilometers of tarmac and then about 120 kilometers of dirt, sort of sand. A lot of it was compact, a bit like kind of that. So not too bad. Uh, there's just there's still soft soft patches which caught people out. It just made you have to be very vigilant. So we're doing about 50 k an hour, so 30 miles an hour. Because the posties are very light and they'll move around a lot on the loose sand, so just getting used to the movement in a bike and things like that. Uh, but we've done all right. We've done all right. We had a few tum few tumbles, um, broken brake lever on one bike, but uh, nothing drastic. Uh, so Winarin is a bit in much a one horse town. There's a gas station that's for sale if anybody's interested. Um, they don't serve food or anything. And there is a police station, there are some houses. Now it's hard to imagine that people live sort of, you know, 200 kilometers down a dirt road, but they do. Uh, then behind me, that building there is the pub. Uh, so we'll probably go for a drink later. Um, and camping, the campsite that's with the gas station is closed because it's, it's been flooded, waterlogged, because there's been a lot of rain here recently. Um, so that's waterlogged, so we're camping down kind of by the river really. So it's not a bad spot really. There's worse spots to be had. Um, there's a toilet and shower block just over there. Uh, so sea view. Not sure. You well? Is Sandy our local guide? We've also we've also got a problem. One of the gas uh, petrol tanks is leaking. I think. Uh, the rider who shall remain nameless had a little tumble and it's probably just stressed one of the uh, moulding points. So we got that to fix. Got some red dirt on the engine. But we we're doing alright, doing alright. So another 200 kilometres um, uh, tomorrow and then we get head to Tibor and then on to Cameron Corner. So we're sort of spearing right to the heart of the uh, outback now. And just places like this are fascinating because it's like, why, why, why live out, out here? And then there's farms on the way, you know, little homesteads, and uh, they do a lot of wild goat uh, farming out here. So uh, to earn money, they'll just gather up all the wild wild goats on their land, take them down into the abattoir at Burke, and that's that's their living, really. So yeah, interesting. All right, battery's low. Take it easy. So we're uh, 50 kilometres into the ride from Winara into Tibur. It's a, a 240 kilometre ride and it's pretty much so far all this. Quite compact, it's been graded recently, it's been wet recently and then graded so it's nice and compact, manageable, not deep sand on it, quite a firm base just with the loose top, so top sand. So it's just miles and miles and miles. Of that straight straight road at the minute, uh, no other traffic. So uh, yeah, pretty pretty uh, bleak out here, pretty lonely. Got good weather. It's pretty cold, pretty nippy. Probably about I don't know, 14 degrees or something. Uh, everyone's doing all right. You know, just stop for a quick toilet, quick toilet, and um, turn that way. That's better. Quick toilet and uh, nibble stop just to uh, keep us going. So we're in 50k. We'll uh, stop for a cup of tea, boil up some water, make a tea. So uh, everyone's doing well, which is good. Everyone's upright. So yeah, another eight hours or six hours of that, we'll be good to go.
the rock to take through. This is a song about the rock. Really? It's not picking you up, it's too dark. <laughs> so we are in, uh, where are we again? Uh, uh, Tiburura. Yeah, Tiburura. Tiburura. Camping down at the yeah. bottom of the hill in the campsite. We've just climbed these rocks before dinner, build up an appetite for starting a, starting a pudding. <laughs> Trust me, I've got an appetite. <laughs> yeah. We've just been fixing. Um, where's the sun? We've just been fixing petrol tanks because we've got a leak on most of them, uh, just because of the corrugations. But uh, good day riding, Chris. Absolutely, superb day riding. Mainly off road. Yeah, bikes work really well. Um, made for it. Far better than time. Super. So, a lot more tomorrow as well. So. Yeah. Oh, great. There we go. Good. And no offs. And no, no, no. We might fall off this rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, what have we got over there? What's that? There's a, There's a road down to Broken Hill, isn't it? Yeah. Is that Broken Hill? Yeah, Broken Hill is 200 k that way. Right. So, we've just, we've just come in that way from uh, Wunarin. And then tomorrow we'll go that way, I gather, that way over there. Sorry for the darkness, everyone. Made us. So we've been riding uh, west from uh, Tibura today, quite a tough ride to be honest, a lot of corrugations, lots of ups and downs, some corners, um, some deep sand just back there. But we are now at uh, Cameron Cottage, so we've come just through that gate there that you should be able to see. We pulled over, everyone's taking a photo of 
of the sign saying uh, welcome to South Australia. So we're at Cameron Corner, which is on the corner of South Australia, New South Wales and Queensland. So we're going to stop here and get some food. There's like a roadhouse, gas station and, and food. So we're going to stop here and get some, some, some supplies and then figure out a plan whether we're going to ride any further today or call it quits. It's just been a longer day than we thought. Okay, so we've arrived at Cameron Corner, uh, roadhouse corner of Queensland, uh, New South Wales and uh, Western Australia. I don't know if you can see all this. So it's inside the corner store, it's uh, hats. Cameron Corner. That was a ride. Undulating. <laughs> Corrugated. Just extremely dusty. I've got an appointment with my dentist when I get back. Okay. I'm sure she's going to be charging me a lot of money. So yeah, that's where we are. Corrugation is what I was struggling with. So Sandy, are you wishing you uh, had come on a posty bike now? Is that a yes? No. No? no? I've missed a few bumps. What are we doing? Changing my air filter. Do you see us doing that on our posty yeah, bikes? Yeah, upside down. It's alright on that. Your filter's probably bigger than you, but... It's alright. One, um... What one did we go? All the way? No, no, just a bit of the... It feels so, so much bigger than the... Uh, Definitely less power. Flies everywhere, yeah. flies everywhere. Right then. So we made it to the Strzelecki track. It's been a, a mission, a lot as boggy and sandier than I, we ever anticipated. But we've made it now, and uh, all but one of them in one piece. We shall go and find out how that went. Okay, so we're just on the Strzelecki uh, track. Not a lot out here. Just stop there. Having a bit of a rest stop. Perfect timing as well. We've got a road train coming. Yeah, I think it's a good job we're out of its way. Mm. Oh 
Yeah. Like, I like drawings. Look at this. Filming. Filming. Okay, so we are on the Udnadatta track and we're these art installations at the side of the road. We're over halfway, oh, I don't know where we are. We're, we're about halfway through the trip. Feels like we've been on the road for a year. Been tough, uh, two riders down now, one injured, one. Um, just, you know, he's, he's ridden enough, he's added his adventure and time to call it, put, call it a day. So that leaves six and me, six, so seven total. Uh, we were gambling and aiming for the original route through all the and down the Great Central Road. We did uh, deliberate on whether to take the um, easier Nullarbor Road, which would have been tarmac all the way across. But uh, I think we've uh, sort of gone um, for bust, really. Um, so we're going to see how we do, really. And uh, just keep on riding. We've got some long days ahead. But everyone seems up for it. Everyone seems keen. Uh, everyone had the option. So that's all you can do, really. Put it out to him and... They're all keen for the, the challenge of going through the central centre. So we'll be up in Uluru in a few days and down the Great Central Road heading towards Perth. So yeah, very tough trip so far, I've got to be honest. Tough, 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 tough trip. Just the heat and the conditions and the, the riding and oh, just everything really, you know. It brings out the best of the worst in people out here. Um, and then it's tough. Tough, very tough. Uh, so don't book on the next one because there won't be another one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Kidding. Um, over and out. Cheers. So we're just on the Udinata, just looking at this dog. 
It's a mechanical dog that's got a car as its head, I believe, and it's an old water tower with a car for a head. Fascinating little pond. Must be a well or something. Because otherwise, there is not a lot, bar a sink, out there. Not a lot at all. Oh, the guys have gone straight past. There they go. Both to bandidos. Leaving me with the dog. A spooky old abandoned house. Horror movie time, really. It's hot now. Got to be in the 30s. Early 30s, mid 30s. Chris is coming. Chris Bandido of the Posty Bandidos. Here he comes. Riding towards the love of his life, Maria. It's a bizarre sight. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Wow. Stay there. I'm going to get a photo in a second. So we're going to head west now uh, to Coward Springs to camp for the night. to Williams Creek and these are the only camels we've seen so far. Yeah. Oh wild camels as well. I think I asked her where she was taking the way they were taking them but I, I didn't quite hear it. Oh. She said not to get too close. Yeah. Wow. Baby, baby ones as well. There's a lot of camels. Camel train. In Williams Creek. So Williams Creek is on the Udenadatta track. We've had a Bit of a ride getting here, it's been bumpy, a lot of corrugation, this is the only bit of tarmac we've got. It's just through town, but the yeah, the rest has been rough to say the least, sandy. Uh, the worst is when you get corrugations and sand at the same time. And um
my perfectly flat mate. Um, get a license to drive this thing. He's teasing you with it, George. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that takes yeah, the top of my fingers off. It's always this way. I trust you. You can get a license. Don't have a nomad then are you? Yeah, yeah we're yeah. That's all but live out here isn't it? <laughs> That's all we saw on Stuart Island. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. right. It's the time of the year where they're all out they're here. They're everywhere. Yeah they're everywhere. You, you guys have replaced backpackers Brains haven't you? Yeah. 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 I used to curse yeah. them when I was driving. Some of it, the ones that don't That's know how to overtake are. Yeah. Uh, some, some of them are just... Yeah. Some of them straight out of a Great office haven't got bloody clothes on. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's it, Phil. It looks like we're here. Seriously, we've, re we've lit the fire close to Nathan's bike. Oh dear. <coughs> Did I hear the words risk assessment? Was that what I was about? I should say hi, wouldn't it? I'll just try to make clips. I think we actually put them in our hand.
the powder. Yeah. Take a feed, you just Oh yeah. Well, that's alright, right on that. <laughs> on your ass. <laughs> on your ass. <laughs> Have you walked it, Chris? Huh? Have you walked it? <laughs> Man beats what? posty biking cross coast uh, coast to coast ride. Water. Oh. You think if you've been walking it, you'd take your arm off? Yeah, no, I keep the sun off my head. And the flies out of your face. Yeah, and flies out of the face. Whew. Yeah, I should have a helmet as well. More the dust down my boots. Look mind. at this. Whew. Stay of those. Stay of that. Orange boots. <laughs> Okay, so we're in Gualia at the end of. Well, actually, start that again. We're at the end of the Great Central Road, which is 1100 kilometres of dirt. 
and most of us made it. Um, which brought us out of the town at Laverton, which we stayed at last night. Uh, and now we're heading for Perth. We've got three days to get to Perth, which is another 950k. But it's fair, it's fair to say that we've had a distance to cover and it's been a lot of uh, dirt. I think 3,000 kilometers of dirt and corrugations. Bikes are holding up all right, thankfully. Um, the bikes are holding up better than anyone, anything or anyone. Um, so we, we, we've done 150k this morning. We just put some fuel in at Lenora, and then there's this ghost town, abandoned town, um, Gualia, which we've just stopped at. So as you can see, it's all the old mining houses and things like that, because a lot of mining around here. So this one you can actually go in. So this is this one. Thomas is making tea over there. You can see that. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah. So he's making tea. So this is a house. And you can go in it. Amazingly, it's not been trashed. So these are like 150 year old houses. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I broke it. And this is how people used to live. It's quite cozy. Amazing, it's not been trashed, ripped apart. Wow, have you got still, whoop, books? Look at that. A little bed. Okay, we've made it to Perth. So you can see the beach behind me. There's a sea. And there are the bikes behind there. So we've made it. 21 days, I don't know, 5,000 kilometers, and about 10 years of aging. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a been a, a bit of a tough one. Everyone's alive, apart from two who aren't dead, but are injured. Uh, Chris is hopefully having his operation today on his leg. To internally fix that he came off in the sand maybe four days ago now five days ago now uh, which was just just a, sh a shit, shit thing really um, to have a ride to go down and uh, be carted off to hospital and then flown out to um, to Perth because we were quite remote never great uh, Martin's in Brisbane with nursing his broken arm and he's got a little bit further out so it's a, it's a real shame them two aren't here. Uh, it left six, six to arrive. Uh, got parrots here as well to up the numbers. Yeah, so we've done it. We've done um, coast to coast, really. Sort of Brisbane to to Perth, 105 cc. Amazed that the bikes have not given them as more issues. We've had five punctures. Uh, we had a carburetor, carburetor fail on the first day, which was just one of them things. And that's really about it with the bikes. Um, we've kept, we've done a few oil changes, and we've kept on top of uh, oil checks and chain tensioning and things like that. But you know, all eight, eight nine bikes have, have not let us down, and uh, we've brought a van full of spares, and we've barely needed any. So, you know, a real testament to the bikes. Uh, slow bikes, 65 kilometers an hour, 70 kilometers an hour, so 40 miles an hour. So, uh, you know, uh, a 400 kilometer day is a long day. 300 kilometers a day on the dirt is a long day. The corrugations have probably been the toughest thing about the trip. You know, on the dirt, you've got um, so many corrugations and, uh, and, and there's sand and just the remoteness. You know, you've, you've, the great central road is 1100 kilometers of dirt, and along that route, you pass three road houses, and everything else is just remote, barren. So glad I had a satellite phone, glad we had Thomas in the support van, glad I had people who. Uh, rode sensibly and 
you know, did, did their best to keep up right. Uh, and uh, that's it, you know. Would I recommend coming across Australia on poster bikes? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of nothingness. Um, but the challenge was there and we've met the challenge. So that's all we can ask for. Um, has it been, has it, it ticked everyone's boxes? I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. The um, pressures of a group, small group, on a big trip, kind of high. So I think everyone will be gl is glad to get to the end and glad to go their separate ways and, and probably reflect on, on the distance that they've ridden really because it's a mammoth trip and it's very easy on the ground day by day to just think you just you know riding a bit bit of a distance on your bike but when you step back and look at it where we've come the route we've come on the time frame the bikes the, the fact that you know um, some of them had barely ridden bikes recently you know some had been off bikes for 30 years uh, some had never ridden on dirt before uh, you know, and then to do a 3,000 kilometer trip or 3,000 kilometers of the trip on dirt I mean it's such an amazing feat really and um, it showed real determination so really pleased for the guys We're really proud of the way they've dealt with it it's not been easy you know what we've got here <laughs> so I'm gonna have a coffee and we're gonna go and drop the bikes off at um, some guy I found on Facebook he's gonna have the bikes for a day or two and quite possibly the bikes are gonna get put on a container and sailed to England and because um, I don't know what else to do with them so that's it end of garbage run Australia won't be another one cheers